Hi. The healing benefits of swimming in the sea, the ocean. Um, I originally intended to try and swim every single day when I came over to Western Australia. I haven't swum every day. I'm probably a little bit chicken because actually sometimes the water, the water does feel quite cold. But um, actually there's great healing benefits to swim as frequently as possible, even if the water is a little bit cold. Anyway, so I just want to talk a little bit about the ocean and swimming and why it's so good for your healing. Um, I was originally told um, with Gerson therapy to keep well out of the ocean for at least a couple of years, um, due to the salt obviously, and that basically 60% um, well, whatever you put your, onto your skin, 60% of that will be absorbed into your body. Therefore, whatever's in the seawater will be absorbed into your body. Now, they're talking about salt, which can also, um, in Gerson therapy, they say that too much salt can um, actually not oxygenate the blood properly. Um, and... So for that reason that you want to avoid it. But then there's also things in the water that you would want to avoid, such as mercury and things like that. So um, I do understand the logic behind it. However, I also see that there's a great opportunity to sw for swimming in the sea because you have lots of wonderful minerals. Um, iodine is especially um, essential for those healing from cancer. Um, and then there's magnesium as well, which is really great. Um, I think I know quite a few people that actually choose to have sort of things like magnesium baths, septum salt baths. I love I love magnesium baths. Uh, also makes your skin a little bit softer and they're able to just be stronger really because it stops it from being so dry and makes it retain the water more, um, retain moisture. So um, yeah, there's lots of minerals in the sea which are really good for you. Then you also have things to think about, like temperature. Now, if you're swimming regularly in cold water, um, which the sea is cold, you're gonna find that that increases your immune system, but it's also going to do other wonderful things. It's going to um, increase dopamine levels in your body and serotonin, and that's gonna make you feel pumped and happy and good. And um, and that's really worthwhile, you know. If you can do that, if you can continue, if you can get a practice and continue to swim each day, that's going to be really, really helpful and healing to your body. Um, I'm working up to it. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get into the habit of swimming each day. If I was in a country like this permanently, I would hope that I would be swimming, swimming each day and making the most of the sea. <clears throat> it's also incredibly grounding, of course. I mean, although you might be with your feet off the off into the waves um, and in the water, when you're actually walking down the beach barefoot and into the sand and into the sea and then placing your feet back on the ground, you're earthing and you're earthing in a really great way. So that's really very healing. Um, other things to consider is that it's a great way to clean your nostrils out. I think everybody knows that when you go swimming you end up getting loads of seawater up your nose and that's very cleansing from the nasal passageways. There's not many other things you can do to clean your nose so effectively than to use saline solution or seawater. So um, yeah, that's good. But um, the main thing is how it makes you feel. And um, when you're swimming, you're completely at one with the sea. Uh, you can feel the power of the waves moving your body. It makes you feel very free. It makes you feel really alive. It's like a form of meditation. And uh, you feel that joy, that connection to Mother Earth. I think it's one of the best types of exercise that you can do really because you're supporting your whole body so you're not putting any pressure really on anything I say that but you know actually I find it a bit tricky with my well, since I've had the operation so I don't have the full range of motion with this arm so 
yeah, I can't always um, swim in the manner that I'd like. Um, but yes, it's just such a nice feeling. The other thing, actually, which I haven't mentioned, is the fact it's so healing to the skin. And when I was younger, I used to get psoriasis a lot, and I haven't had this for years. In fact, I haven't had it since I completely changed my diet. Nobody ever once told me when I had psoriasis for all those years that actually it could be something, the fact that I was eating the wrong foods. Um, nobody ever mentioned that. So um, if you have psoriasis, it's really, really very soothing to the skin. It's also soothing to burns and things like that and cuts and grazes. Um, I have a little bit of itchiness on my scar. In fact, it looks, I suppose, a bit like psoriasis where, but it's um, calmed down a lot. And, um, and I find the swimming has been really, really helpful to it. I think a little bit of sun, but not too much sun, has also been beneficial um, because you can still get the sun through your tops over here. Anyway, try and get some swimming in. Summer's coming up in the UK. Let's hope it's a good one for everyone. And uh, thanks very much for watching.